this is saying that there is something that you that is going to be revealed to you okay that you don't see clearly that is going to help you to avert some kind of disaster in your life it's you'll see in just a second it is so straightforward that spirit is screaming at you okay okay so the king of swords was originally clarified by the high priestess in reverse this is secrets this is either something that you are completely and totally ignoring in your intuition or it is something that someone is keeping from you okay it has to do with the page of cups and the Prince of Cups. Somebody is bringing you some kind of an offer, okay? An offer, okay? And it, it hits good in your emotions. To the Ten of Pentacles, they're bringing you an offer of possibly money, maybe marriage, maybe raises, career, housing, um, inheritance, maybe, okay? But they're bringing you some kind of message and it makes you feel emotionally good. Perhaps that's why you are ignoring your intuition with the high priestess in reverse. Um, or perhaps what's being kept from you is that not all that glitters is gold. Hey Taurus, it's Dana, the gypsy psychic. What's going on? I'm so glad to be here. This is the Taurus birthday reading. Yeah, baby. The Taurus birthday reading. I am a Taurus sun. And Pisces Moon, Pisces Rising, and Pisces Venus, but nevertheless a Taurus Sun. Taurus is my front man. I'm on the cusp of Aries, so I do have a little bit of that flair in me, but I am Taurus. So I'm excited to do this. I'm excited all the way around. I'm just excited today. I don't know why. I just am. I'm excited. Let's see what's so exciting. I think we have a... Uh, we have a Scorpio full moon or something coming up in the near future. Yikes. <laughs> All right, you guys. If you're new to the channel, come on in. Sit down. Welcome to the tribe. If you're coming back to see me again, come on in. All y'all, come on in. Sit down. Snuggle up. Get you something to eat, something to drink, something to smoke. Put your feet up. Put your earbuds in, cast it up on the big screen if you want to. Go outside, smoke a cigarette, have a cig break if you're at work or something, lunch break, right? And gather up around the table because we're going to throw down some cards for Taurus. We are going to throw down some cards. Something's going on. It's, it's staticky. And I want to know what it is, so let's find out what it is, yeah? My thing is shaking here. You see that going on? I don't know if y'all can see it from that side, but it's definitely calm. I also have a little buddy that's hanging out here. This little this little fly here wants to be a part of this video. Fly on the wall, huh? <laughs> Anywho, we're going to have to tolerate him because, um, yeah, I live in the South. I have critters. I have flies. Okay, let's do this. Let's do this. So it's going to work like it always works. I'm going to shuffle. I'm going to pray. I will lay out at least 15 cards. We'll talk about it as I clarify them and sew together a story. If the clarification process gets too long or too in-depth, um, I will fast forward that part of the video and we'll pick up right where we left off, okay? All right, Taurus, so y'all focus with me. Give me just a second here to uh, channel. Let me see if I can get this damn camera to stop bouncing around. Maybe I need to just move myself back a little bit. No, I can't get it to stop bouncing. Sorry, guys. I changed uh, rooms in my house uh, where I have my tarot table. And I get to look out this beautiful window with this beautiful view of trees and a pasture and stuff. And it really makes me feel zen. So um, I switched over here and um, I just kind of propped the camera up there on my little thingy. And it's all wiggly. So if you are prone to seasickness, you might want to just look away. <laughs> All right, let's do this, you guys. Give me just a minute to uh, get centered and channel, and we'll see what um, Spirit has to say for the Collective of Taurus. All right, let's do it. Spirit, Source, Universal Energy. I have the Collective of Taurus with me. Spirit and Taurus wants to know what you know. What is coming towards the Collective of Taurus? What is in the planets? What do the cards say? For the collective of Taurus spirit, what do they need to look out for? What do they need to look forward to? And most importantly, how do they navigate 
the coming situations and circumstances of their life for their best and highest good. Spirit, please give me the eyes to see, the ears to hear, and the wisdom to understand what it is you're going to say in these cards. Please arrange yourself in the way you need to be seen to bring Taurus the information to guide them. What's coming towards them? What do they need to look out for? What do they need to look forward to? And most importantly, how do they navigate the coming situations and circumstances of their life for their best and highest good? Please tell me where the stopping point is. I'll cut three times and I'll pull straight from the top. There it is. Ready? Let's go. Can you guys see this over here? All right, let's go. Hmm. Hold on. Let's go. One, two, three. Ooh, a nice even cut. One, two, three. Bottom of the deck, the two of swords, some kind of crossroads, Taurus. Give me a second. Let me get me a drink. Okay. Mm. Sweet tea. You just can't beat it. Some things you probably need to know about me before we get started. I have a propensity to be inappropriate. Okay. So if that bothers you, you might want to go home. I smoke my vape on camera sometimes. And if that bothers you, you probably want to go home right now too. Okay. Other than that, uh, we'll get along quite well, all right? Drum roll, please. All right, Taurus, for the sake of time and patience, we are gonna fast forward this little section right here. You need to understand that it is imperative to get your own cards read if you need wisdom, guidance, or clarification of this particular situation in your life. Taurus, this is what's going on, okay? This is what's happening. So. We start out with the King of Swords, right? King of Swords is the first card out. It sets the tone for the entire reading, okay? The King of Swords is some kind of truth, some kind of truth that you are going to come to or is going to be revealed to you, okay? I asked if this was someone bringing you truth or if this was you finding something out on your own. And it was clarified by the sun in reverse, which tells me it's something that you weren't seeing that now you are going to see with the King of Swords energy, okay? I asked, what is the root of the King of Swords? And it is the Nine of Swords in reverse and the King of Pentacles in reverse, okay? King of Pentacles in the upright is all about success and achievement and long-term ambitions and goals and it's, it's a Taurus card, right? So the, the Nine of Swords in reverse is anxiety, despair, painful lesson, okay? So what is this saying right here? This is saying that there is something that you, that is going to be revealed to you, okay? That you don't see clearly, that is going to help you to avert some kind of disaster in your life. The, it's you'll see in just a second it is so straightforward that spirit is screaming at you okay okay so the king of swords was originally clarified by the high priestess in reverse this is secrets this is either something that you are completely and totally ignoring in your intuition or it is something that someone is keeping from you okay it has to do with the page of cups and the Prince of Cups. Somebody is bringing you some kind of an offer, okay? An offer, okay? And it, it hits good in your emotions. To the Ten of Pentacles, they're bringing you an offer of possibly money, maybe marriage, maybe raises, career, housing, um, inheritance, maybe, okay? But they're bringing you some kind of message of money and it makes you feel emotionally good. Perhaps that's why you are ignoring your intuition with the high priestess in reverse. Um, or perhaps what's being kept from you is that not all that glitters is gold. Okay. Five of cups in reverse. Move on from loss, regret, despair, and disappointment before it even happens. Let me tell you why. Princess of Wands, okay? This reiterates the communication coming towards you, some kind of exciting, emotionally fulfilling communication, okay? This is a general reading. If this were your reading, we could apply it to your life, right? But I don't know what the heck's going on or who I'm reading for, so bear with me, okay? So I have to be very vague in general because the cards are vague in general. All right, so the Princess of Wands. Um, this is also about exploration, discovery, 
and um, excitement. Okay, so what this is saying is that this is exciting news that's coming towards you, but there is something about this exciting news that either you're refusing to see or it's being kept from you. Princess of Wands says to explore and discover this a little bit. Nine of Wands in reverse. Be defensive. Be hesitant. Okay. Then we have the Ace of Swords. This Ace of Swords is saying, see the truth. Put some wood to the fire and take the emotions out of it and see the truth of a situation to the fool. We are trying to lead you in a different direction, not this direction. Whatever this offer is, is not for you. The fool talks about going in a different direction, finding the truth and following, guess what? The star, the direction of your higher power. The star is a card about hope, faith, purpose, and renewal. Having hope in your faith that your higher power is going to lead you in the direction of purpose, a purposeful path in your life. That's what faith is about, right? No matter what you call it or label it, we hope that if we do what it is we're supposed to do, we're going to be shown the way that we're supposed to go, right? Right? That's what the star card is about. The star is spirit trying to lead you in the direction that they that that is in your best and highest good. And how they're doing that is is revealing some kind of truth to you. Somehow some way there is going to be some kind of truth revealed to you. And they're trying very desperately with the fool and the star and the high priestess in reverse and the sun in reverse to tell you that you're not seeing something about this opportunity. And your advice is to move on from it. The hermit, soul searching and introspection, painful lesson, nine of swords in reverse, right? Spirit says, sit with me. And let's, let's really do some soul searching and some introspection about this opportunity that it's coming your way. Um, we really need to work some things out. What are you going to work out in the hermit energy? The seven of pentacles, right? Seven is the number of motivations, investigation, and discovery. And if you sit down with your higher power and you have a powwow and you work it out, they're going to reveal to you through your reflection in the seven of pentacles, not your reflection, but your reflection in the seven of pentacles, exploration, discovery, investigation, motivations. They're going to reveal to you what this is, but you got to be in tune. What's going on? Well, the devil, there is some kind of toxicity. There's some kind of lying, cheating, stealing of some sort, some kind of stumbling block that is headed your way that you need to really, really look out for. Could be human, could be otherwise, okay? A hangman in reverse. This is only going to cause resistance and delays in your future, okay? The th it's also a card about resisting it. What? Well, the Three of Cups in reverse talks about a third party situation. Okay, there is more going on here than you think is going on here. And the Sun in reverse again says that you're not seeing it. It's, it's not apparent. It is hidden behind some kind of veil of some sort. And Spirit is trying to get you to open your eyes to see that the root of this Ten of Pentacles, Knight of Cups, Page of Cups offer um, is deceptive with this devil card right here, okay? Nine of Pentacles comes on top of the devil and says, stand in your power, okay? It also reiterates to me that this, whatever this negative thing is that Spirit's trying to warn you about is about money or some kind of security as well with the Nine of Pentacles, right? Because that is self-sufficient, independent money. But also what this is saying, mostly what this is saying, is that you should stand in your power, self-sufficient, independent. You don't need what is being offered to you here. And you need to see that you don't need what is being offered to you here. To the Empress the card of Taurus. You're here twice, okay? Um, the Empress is the third lesson of the Major Arcana. The first lesson is the Magician, where your mind goes, your reality becomes. And if you don't believe that, just try it one way or another. What you think about 
in your subconscious on the daily is what becomes your reality in your life. Control your mind, create any kind of life that you want. The Empress, I'm sorry, the High Priestess, she's lesson number two. That is your higher power using your instincts and your intuition to lead you in the direction of your best and highest good. Lesson number three is the Empress right? It's oftentimes why she's pregnant in the tarot. It's not always human life that she's birthing, right? The empress being lesson number three, three is the number of achievement, okay? The lesson, the lesson, the empress lives her life by her understanding of manifestation and the understanding of her intuition leading her in the direction that she needs to go or away from that which she doesn't need to go. She lives her life, creates a foundation based on those two principles. And that is why she is so powerful. Okay. 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 So spirit is, is telling you to use your spidey senses in this Empress card. They are saying, what are you thinking about is coming about in your life? Check yourself, check your mind, check your mental. What is it that you're manifesting here? Because whatever it is, is coming into fruition, but you're not manifesting for your best and highest good. That's why spirit's trying to lead you in a different direction. Follow your intuition, right? Follow your intuition and we will guide you. They're trying to guide you to the fool. We will guide you in the direction that you should go to the high priestess. Follow your intuition. We are leading you. They are leading you. Okay. They are leading you, right? resist this three of cups in reverse there's interference that you don't know about the sun in reverse you don't see it clearly and it is going to create unhappiness in your life okay that's what that whole top row is about Whew. okay the emperor in reverse this is who is coming towards you taurus this is who's coming towards you. This guy is off the hook, okay? He lacks self-discipline. He lacks um, any kind of focus outside of himself. He makes bad decisions. He's egocentric and self-centered. To the Queen of Cups. But you got some kind of feels for him. You have some kind of feels for this person. The lovers in reverse. The universe says it's a misaligned relationship. To the two of cups. But it is a relationship that is in good standing somehow, some way in your life. The four of wands in reverse. There is a lack of peace and contentment that this person will bring to your life. Ten of Swords. There needs to be an end. This person is going to bring pain and crisis into your life. Straight up. You have some kind of emotional connection to this person. Hence the Prince of Cups and the Page of Cups in the first set of, in the first little stack of cards, right? Somebody is bringing you some kind of a message or trying to emotionally connect with you somehow. And you're all about it right? You're all about it and you're happy about it. But spirit is saying, no, 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 no. There is something you're not seeing here. And it directly involves some kind of third party situation. There is something in the background that you don't see about this. And it's deceptive. This person has their own interests at heart, but somehow, some way you have feelings in the queen of cups for this person. Now the queen of cups isn't romantic feelings. The queen of cups is caring feelings. Okay. Love feelings, but not necessarily romantic love, agape love, right? Two of cups is you were either in a relationship with this person romantically, or it is a, it is a relationship in your life. That's either coming back into good standing or is in good standing already. Okay. Um, perhaps it's somebody wanting to level up in a relationship somehow, some way. Okay. Ten of Swords. It's going to bring pain and grief and sorrow. And you would be best, just like the Five of Cups in reverse, to circumvent. Okay. So it's best for you just to circumvent this whole situation. Okay. 
Prince of Wands in reverse, frustrations, delays. Nine, I'm sorry, seven of cups in reverse, diversionary tactics to what? Your success, okay? This isn't the path to your success, whatever this is. Maybe a job opportunity. The Ace of Cups. Um, your feelings, hence the Queen of Cups over here, right? Your feelings that are vested in this situation, Eight of Swords in reverse, you need to have a new perspective. Maybe this is a family member wanting to go into business with you or something, okay? To the a new perspective, Six of Pentacles in reverse, that you're not going to be able to give and receive and share in the prosperity with this person. This person is only this situation, this opportunity is only going to bring um, possibly even debt. Okay, one-sided, greed, materialism, debt, greedy, materialistic. Maybe they're not going to pay you what you need to be paid, or maybe they're not going to, uh, whatever, what it's a general reading, right? Whatever, the only way to know your real story is to have your own cards read. That's the God's honest truth. The Empress in the center of the reading. We have the Emperor in reverse and the Empress in reverse. Perhaps this is a divorce of some sort, and somebody's offering you some kind of a settlement. Could be. The Empress in reverse, um, blocking creation, okay? Block creation, block, block, block creation to the Six of Swords and get out of Dodge. Leave it behind. Avoid the situation all the way around now that you know that it's coming. The Seven of Cups in reverse, again, diversionary tactics. The Three of Wands in reverse, obstacles to your long-term goals or what you don't see coming is obstacles to your long-term goals and the wheel of fortune in reverse, a blockage. Why is it a blockage? Because they're screaming at you that this is not in your best interest. But if you execute your free will in the ego, which would be the flesh saying, this is good for me. I feel something inside of me, but I'm going to ignore it because this is a 10 of pentacles opportunity right here. Um, if your free will is executed outside of where spirit is trying to lead you in your path, then they cannot intervene and it is a blockage of any kind of divine orchestration towards the place that you're supposed to be. Okay. Eight of cups in reverse says emotionally withdraw. Why emotionally withdraw? Because you have some kind of emotion invested in this somehow. The 10 of wands, it's a burden and a struggle. Justice, emotionally withdrawing from this is going to divert the burden in the struggle and it's going to bring justice and accountability from you to your spiritual journey, okay? And then judgment in reverse. Judgment in reverse is self-doubt. I don't know, maybe you think you need this person's money or this person's contribution to something. Judgment in reverse can be deciding to not decide. It could also be a bad decision. It could also be deciding to not decide is a bad decision, right? <laughs> but judgment in reverse is definitely not a positive card, right? The judgment in reverse is bad decision, not in your best interest. Eight of Pentacles in reverse, it's not going to work out. To the Four of Swords in reverse, there's going to be a lack of progress in your life. Six of Swords, leave it behind. Four of Cups in reverse. Um rejection the prince of swords in reverse this is a need to get a handle on your thoughts no it, well that is what this is but it's also um it is about um the truth not being told right because somebody's coming at you with a message but what they're hiding is the truth of the prince of swords four of cups in reverse says reject this the sun in reverse there's something that you don't see clearly Five of Pentacles, it's going to cost you some money somehow, some way. You're going to get screwed somehow, some way, left out in the cold. Two of Swords in reverse, again, you don't see it coming. Page of Pentacles, you think you're going to be able to manifest some kind of sense of security in this situation to the Nine of Swords, but it's going to, uh, it's going to wear you out. The Emperor in Reverse is going to wear you out. The Emperor in Reverse is not going to come through with what it is that they're promising you in this situation. And that's basically what this whole reading is about, right? The person who is making you some kind of offer that you are emotionally invested in somehow, some way, is not going to come through. And Spirit, with all of these major arcana, is telling you that you're not seeing it, go away from it, divert this disaster in your life, use your spidey senses, be on point, 
because this is not the, this is not the path that that you need to be on for your best and highest good whoever this is for again you can only know your real story if you get your own cards read all of this youtube bs with the tarot card readings the only way to know is to have your cards read it's for entertainment purposes only sun in reverse you're not seeing it eight of wands in reverse don't take action Three of Pentacles, you think it's going to be teamwork and collaboration, Ten of Wands, but it's simply going to be a burden and a struggle. Three of Cups in reverse, there is someone else involved in this situation. There is someone behind the scenes. If this is love for you, there is another girlfriend, okay, or a wife. If this is a business for you, they're not telling you the truth and there is maybe a partner that you are not aware of or some kind of debt that the person that is coming to you has that they're not revealing. If this is a family business venture, it's going to go badly. If this is a, um, a friendship or family member trying to come back into your life, maybe offering you money to move in some to move in with you or to rent a room from you or something it's going to go badly it, whatever this is is going to go badly and spirit is very much trying to get you to see that it's going to go badly there is interference that you are not aware of two of cups you think it's just the two of you but it's not perhaps this two of cups is also saying that there's some kind of love interest perhaps Perhaps if you're getting into business with someone, there is a wife that needs to be taken or a husband that needs to be taken into consideration that they're not telling you owns a third of the company. Whatever, there is someone else involved. Princess of Swords in reverse. All talk, no action, undelivered promises. The moon, again, in the emotions, right? Struggling on the inside. The moon is a card of the classic internal struggle no matter what the situations and circumstances are we all struggle in the same way in the moon energy it is the struggle between that which you know and that which you wish you didn't know then <laughs> that which you know and that which your ego and your flesh journey is trying to talk you out of that's the struggle of the moon no matter what it is that's what it boils down to and this moon card tells me that you know on the inside, but that high priestess in reverse says that you are ignoring that for some reason. Judgment in reverse says it's a bad decision for you to do that. Nine of swords in reverse is going to be a painful, painful lesson for you to do that. Two of pentacles in reverse is going to set you off kilter for a good long time. Ace of Wands, this, this passionate new beginning, three of swords in reverse is going to cause grief and sorrow and pain. Three of swords in reverse. You're not having enough foresight. It's going to be obstacles to your long-term goals. More dishonesty with the Queen of Swords in reverse. The Prince of Cups in reverse. It's not worth your feelings. The King of Cups to the Five of Swords. But you have some kind of emotion invested in this situation. And you have some kind of faith that this is going to happen. Seven of Wands in reverse um, talks about defending yourself um being overwhelmed the chariot in reverse a blockage to the future the future that spirit wants you to go towards six of wands in reverse a lack of success four of pentacles in reverse financial despair or let's just say um protect yourself as well the king of pentacles your success you the queen of cups hold on let's work through this Okay, no, this King of Pentacles is the same King of Pentacles in reverse over here. So this King of Pentacles, Queen of Cups that you have these feelings for, right? To the tower. This whole thing right here is going to end in a tower moment. And that's when we do that which we know, when we go against that which we know inside in the moon card, right? When we go against that what we know, that is always the ego talking you out of listening to your intuition because the ego is the flesh journey, right? 
when your free will is executed in the ego and not in the spiritual, it will every single time end in some kind of a tower implosion. Okay? That's what this is right here. If you choose to go against where spirit is leading you, it will end in a tower moment. Temperance says we're trying to save you from this. Four of Swords, think about this, plan about this, reevaluate this. Ace of Cups in reverse, stop investing your emotions. Ten of Swords in reverse, and avoid an inevitable ending and ruin. The world in reverse, we're all just frozen until you decide to execute in the way of your spiritual understanding instead of your human understanding. The Hierophant. Commitments, obligations in this situation, whatever attachment that you have to this situation, the star in reverse, it is not purposeful for your life. To the Nine of Pentacles, stand again, stand in your power. You can, you don't either, A, you don't need this person or this offer in your life and you can do just fine without it. B, um, this needs to come to a culmination. No matter what it is, whatever's being offered to you, this Nine of Pentacles says you're better off on your own. Whatever's being offered to you, this Nine of Pentacles says wrap it up. You can circumvent the whole tower situation if you just pay attention because Spirit is very, very, very straightforwardly saying, we will show you. We are trying to show you. We will show you what is wrong with this situation if you will listen to us. And they're trying to save you from a bad situation. That's what this is about, Taurus. It is. So happy birthday, huh? Spirit's trying to keep you on track and point you in the direction that you should go. And there is a gigantic stumbling block headed like a freight train right at you. So there you go, Taurus. I hope this helped somebody um, be on the lookout for something, something not right that they think is great, but it's not. Okay. All right, Taurus. Namaste.